Don't cut the fro, let it grow, put it on show. Hey, all you Murrays and Islanders, don't cut your hair, let it grow, because we're having an Afro competition. When? NADOC week. Where? At the end of the NADOC march. And what for? Well, mainly for fun, but there's prizes and cash to be won. Now there's three categories. There's the kids' fro, the teens' fro, and the old fro's. Now afros will be judged on height, width, and thickness, and a booth will be made available on the NADOC grounds for those needing to comb, fix, tease, or just mess with the fro. Stay tuned to Afro Radio for more info on the fro. There you go, bro. I haven't answered that. Andrew, don't I wonder, you're good. I wonder what the prize money is. Yeah, my, some of my friends and my family, they joke around. They think I'm an island man, you know? And even people at work or even a couple of the Torres Strait people, you know, they've mistaken me for an islander person. And I go, no, nah, I'm, I'm from Palm Island, I'm, I'm an Aborigine, you know? When I was going to school, I, I had this thing that I was trying to have my hair like other fellas got there, you know, try up straighty or something like that and have a style. And then I started reading um, uh, magazines where people looking after their hair, you know? I got into uh, Woman's Day, reading technique at a woman's day and thinking, well, you know, some of them people iron their ear. So I went and I started doing that at school. And I, I was ironing my ear at school and them boys were thinking, what are you doing? And, and I couldn't get right in because the iron was a bit hot. <laughs> so I just, I just only ironed as far as I can and, and it, it went straight for a while, but then it didn't stay that way. So I just went back curly and, and wavy. I, I, I want to try and um, blend avocado and purple and probably some of the other fruit. I mean, if we feed ourselves to help our body grow, you know, then why can't we put on our hair and help our hair grow? Uh, and just open that my hair don't fall out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Side nice and clean, because honey is natural, yogurt is natural. I never know, my hands could be having a good feed, you know, just <laughs> land of milk and honey. And I tried a little bit with cooking oil, olive oil, rock, melon, the banana, and the purple. <laughs> It's a bit like conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think your hair is saying to you right now? Feed me. Guys with froze, so I think I've got a good chance. Today we're going to have the Afro competition. We've got a booth over here, our Afro grooming booth. We've got Afro combs, we've got water bottles and towels. And for those people who want to come and let their hair out, um, you can groom over here. We've got mirrors and um, all sorts of things. We just want to really encourage you to come and be black, be an Indigenous person, be proud of your Afro. And what are, you, are you going to go in the Afro competition? No, nah, because then I've got to comb it all out and you just can't. I'd have to go wash it, then comb it. Nah, it's too much work. How have you felt about having hair like this? Um, it feels funny. Uh, it gets a bit messy sometimes. How do you mean funny? It goes everywhere. Because it goes real frizzy and I like it when it goes curly. For the best female Afro between the age of 6 and 12, Congratulations, Fletcher. The big winner. 
Congratulations, everybody. I hope you enjoy yourselves and your gifts. And for those who didn't win, I'm sorry, but just be proud of your pros anyway. <laughs> Feel great. So is this one day to remember to be proud of? Sure is, you know. And I'm really proud of my fro now that I won the prize and next year I'm gonna make it more bigger and more better. So I just wanna say to other brothers out there with the fro, let it hang out, get it ready for next year because I'm gonna be back and I'm gonna be a bit better. So watch out. Don't cut the fro, let it grow, put it on show.